is a very complex Pi configuration. 30 inches voided splice Pi. The splice is mechanical splice. The data is collected by others, and you can see that the beta is quite bad because of the voided as well as the splice. We are going to process the data using GPC. Now when you uh, scroll the mouse down or use the paste dial like this uh, to view different blows, the, gra the uh, scale of the graph is jumping up and down to match the maximum range. If you don't want uh, that, you can just uh, change the, the turn off the auto scale and put a number here that you think will cover most range of all the lows. Go back to blow number one and just paste it down now. Uh, uh, keep uh, pressing the paste down, different blows. Uh, so the wave up, the original wave up, has a lot of bump uh, because of the different voided sections. Uh, rise up when impedance increase, drop down when the encounter when the uh, uh, wave encounter the void and this is the supposed pi toe so when you view like this it's quite difficult for the user to evaluate the pi resistance as as well as the pi integrity it's very difficult to evaluate pi integrities of the pi um, so in gpc we have a very advanced uh, features that when you view only the simulated wave up which is called WU0 uh, the user will be able to let me go back to blow number one turn off the raw wave up turn on the simulated wave up so now the user much easier for them to evaluate the pi integrity so this is the splice locations and you see that there is some small reflections because the mechanical splice gap there and the wave up is quite smooth from the top of the pi to the toe of the pi and it's very easy again very easy to evaluate the skin frictions as well as the reflections from the splice. Uh, the beta here is based on the sim simulated wave up. Uh, so the beta here makes much more sense um, in our GPC. So we are going all the way down to the end. Uh, the reflection from the splice is a little bit larger now. Uh, Pi has some unloading skin friction um, here. As you can see, the velocity is negative uh, uh, twice before the 2L over C. So this is 2L over C. The value here is 2L over C after the peak, after the maximum force. So velocity is the blue here. It uh, became negative twice before the valley. Uh, so that is some indications of pi, pi skin friction unloading. Um, this is 21 days. The, 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 the increase here is the 21 days uh, uh, wait. So the pi is going from here, encounter a very hard layer here. Uh, so let, let's look. This is soft uh, layer and this is hard layer. So hard. So you see the uh, wave up, uh, rise up, uh, indicating a, a, a much higher toe resistance uh, between this and this. So much higher toe resistance here. And then the pi driving stop here, uh, where it the toe, the end bearing of toe resistant reduced, and and there's a, this is uh, right around here. That's the 21 days um, 
read drive. So in a 21 day read, read drive, uh, it has a lot of skin frictions uh, uh, freeze or set up a lot more compared to uh, earlier, uh, earlier uh, uh, low skin frictions and here a lot more uh, skin frictions uh, set up. Um, and you see this, uh, the, uh, the reflection from the mechanical supplies. So that is the 21 days restrike and uh, down here is uh, just, uh, I, I don't remember, but it's just a few hours uh, set check down here. So it's a few hours set check, so the, re the resistance doesn't change much here. But again, here is the soft layer where a very uh, low end bearing and uh, this is a harder layer with higher end bearing. So at the 21 day restrike, in the beginning of the uh, restrike, because of a lot of skin friction, it absorbed uh, the tensile stress. So we see here, tensile stress drop big time uh, at the beginning of the restrike. So before that, very high tensile stress up to 1.5 PSI and wait 21 days because of a lot of skin friction, it absorbed um, uh, the, uh, the stress and the uh, uh, tense stress drop big, big time here. In terms of beta, so using GPC, the beta is most, most of the time, the beta stay around 90 percent. Uh, uh, and the, the beta there is uh, either <coughs> uh, uh, detected because of the unloading skin frictions, which is not uh, a real beta, or because of the splice. Uh, so let me see. If, uh, uh, so let's see. Uh, so here is the beta 89% uh, uh, because of the reflections of the splice. But in general, uh, beta here is about 90% and the, the pi is perfect. Signal matching for this complex configuration is very, very difficult. Um, in a Pi with high resistance, it will be a little bit easier to match. Um, so in this case, this is the 21 days restrike, the blow number two, a 21 day restrike, and a little bit easier to model. So the Pi has a mechan mechanical splice here. So let's go from top to bottom. So the, the gauges is here. This is voided sections, and this is the solid section. Taper up solid uh, gap in the mechanical splice. Uh, solid section taper down void, and then uh, taper up solid. So that is the configuration of this pile, and the gap is at location of the splice here, which is 67 feet. Uh, the pi is also modeled by a tension slack at the same locations. Um, so at this blow, the wrist strike blow, uh, it is mostly uh, skin friction. So the skin friction is almost 900 caps and bearing is only 41 caps. So almost 900 caps of skin frictions. And here you can see the simulated WU0 as well. It go out of the graph because the, uh, the magnitude is too large. There's two way you can see everything. You just uh, type a number here, uh, and then, then you can see everything. Um, so this is the supposed pi toes, a lot of skin friction from zero up to the toe of the pi. And this is the, the splice uh, re reflection from the splice. Another way <coughs> to view uh, is uh, you can uh, earlier you can just go jumping between different tab and it will auto adjust uh, with the auto scale. This is a signal match example for blows during the one hour set checks. So this blows has very high end bearing, 665 caps of end bearings and only 220 caps of skin frictions. Um, 
total 906 cable resistance. So when the pie has a lot of total skin frictions like this, it is also relatively easy to do signal match. The more skin friction, the easier to do the signal match for this uh, complex pie, actually. But, uh, uh, but this, this one is still re relatively easy to do signal, signal match. But for a blow in a soft drive with this complex pie, which is uh, seven section like this, um, then it would be very, very dif difficult to have a good match uh, if the blow ha doesn't have uh, much uh, resistance. Uh, so this pie has a mechanical splice here as you uh, see earlier, and a tension slack was modeled at that location as well. The tensile uh, limit uh, force of this uh, slack uh, vary from blow to blow, so it's not a constant. So this value will vary depending on the hammer energy input as well as the skin friction distribution. Uh, so the match here is uh, a pretty uh, decent. It's not quite good, but pretty decent. Um, and if I remove this uh, uh, slack, you see that the uh, match is pretty bad, uh, mismatch here at the toe. If I click previous, I uh, see the previous uh, uh, safe information. When I click uh, WU0, uh, for the simulated wave up, I don't see anything yet. Um, so note that if you don't see the wave up simulation, then the beta, the beta is based on the raw uh, wave up, uh, and as such, the beta is only 59%. So uh, to refresh, you hit F2, and when you hit F2, you see these uh, wave up um, simulation. Let me turn off. So you can see it clearer. So this is the toe. This is a big reflection from the splice. And the beta is 88% uh, from uh, around the splice location. So if this pie is going to be uh, restrike in another 21 days, for example, then there's a possibility that you will see uh, much more gain in skin frictions. Uh, it will not uh, only 200 something caps, it might become uh, uh, 700, 800 or 900 caps of skin frictions in another 21 days of weight.